Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 4 of uh, BDF. So in this video you will be learning what are the super important and the most expected questions from the external's point of view and I will be telling you how do you remember these steps and the key points in the architecture and all in a simple manner. So make sure you watch this video till the end so that you get the whole information and score nice marks in module 4. So um, if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Your support is uh, very important for me to make more videos like this and this document link can be found in the description box. So let's get started. The first question what you can ask is about the big data architecture. Okay, so before also we have learned the big data architecture, but uh, in this case, they are focusing on the upper half. Okay, what do I mean by upper half is these three layers. In these three layers, they will not explicitly ask you about that big data architecture, but they can ask you in the form that how do you uh, implement the map radius, spark and pick hive and uh, those concepts and the workflow concepts and data processing and um, map reduce concepts, HBS, MongoDB uh, concepts during the uh, data processing. How is that? Uh, getting implemented that uh, basically you have to tell okay so uh, that is the main aim of this uh, module uh, so the first thing what you have to mention is the data storage layer is present here hdfs file system for the big data is present here the from the data storage you will be using to process the data okay from the layer 3 to the layer 4 you will be doing the things map reduce job execution mapper and the reducer and in the data processing mainly you have to uh, focus on is that you will be having some data and you will be using the data to make uh, it uh, of a better use okay so that's all uh, what is there in the data processing layer after the uh, processing and everything is done using the hbase mongodb and cassandra db for the storing in the parallel processing purpose then you will be sending it to the data consumption layer in in this layer it's the main operation which is getting happened of the pick and hive okay in pick and hive what happens is the map reduce and the query aggregation summarizing and the pick does the data flow language execution framework and implementation of the function these uh, five or six points you have to mention for the hive and the pick in the data consumption layer okay data, data consumption means the last layer we will be doing the visualization thing and the report and the descriptive analysis and the statistics and all those things like machine learning analysis and the data mining tools all these things have to be done in the data consumption layer so basically you have to draw a rough sketch of this and you have to explain what's happening in uh, the top three layers again okay. that was about the big data architecture some more information can be found here you can go through it i have written uh, some more content here this is for your information okay so that was about the first question which is about the big data architecture the next super important question is the map reducing processing steps this is a super super important question i have not included any content here because including the content is very very big stupidity why because you have to understand this and uh, write in your own words okay see here what are the points i'll uh, tell you that only you have to write in the exam script the first step is that map reducing means what you have something you are reducing it mapping it and reducing it for that it's not uh, like two step process mapping and reducing there are many steps in before that and many steps after that as well in between that also it's very well um, in detail it is defined okay so you have to uh, focus it as follows use bullet points and write these points firstly we will be having some storage okay storage in that will be having some data from that data you are uh, going to uh, map that data because that data is very huge okay it's a very big data from hdfs hadoop distributed file system you'll be having a very big data you, are, you want it to get reduced and mapped format so for that what you will be doing is first step is you will be passing it to the input in the input you'll be having all the data which you need to map and reduce it okay and that data will be getting split up into different sections see all the data cannot be processed at the same time it has to get split and parallelly it has to be processed after you split the data your next step is to read the record read read record read record you'll be reading the record what is the relevant thing that you'll be keeping what the irrelevant thing you'll be throwing in what dustbin okay after that you will be mapping those uh, relevant data into a particular format after that you have made the key and the value pairs that is called as the mapping after you have mapped the different things again combine into the same thing that is the next step combination after you have done that you will be taking the data from the other nodes and shuffling it shuffling means what you'll be catching the common data and uh, send, uh, making the groups in the clusters that is called a shuffling process if you have some common data here common data here you will be combining it and keeping the relevant data irrelevant data and the uh, same groups and the different groups will be making after that is done you have to reduce it so that's what you'll be doing before reduction uh, reduction you'll be have to sorting the data sorting means sort in alphabetical order or index order or in the uh, numerical form that will be easy to access it okay for that you will be sorting and then reducing it after the reduction you will be easily able to combine it and find the output file that will be stored to the hdfs again this is what you have to explain the map reduce bullet wise points each step what is present here for each you have to use one bullet point and uh, mention your key points okay that should uh, help you to score full marks for this question super important question don't miss from exam point of view 
next we have the hive uh, workflow what is hive hive is nothing but it will send a request and the request will be processed and some data will be fetched and the data will be processed uh, like map reduce thing and again it, the answer will be sent to the user so um, remember it in this way a user is sending a, um, a request to the um, means hive okay a user is sending a request to the hive and that is getting sent through the driver driver what it will do it will process the data it will check if the query is correct or not if the query is correct it forward the data to the compiler compiler will do two things compilation and the checking for the syntaxes after that is done the uh, parsing will be done to understand what kind of data and what kind of question is asked what is the query is to be uh, returned what is the answer uh, you need to be fetched what are the uh, data required and what is the meta store data required for it so for the meta store data it will pass it to the meta store here and the meta store data is fetched again sent back to the compiler and we'll check if the metadata metadata store is correct or not if it is correct it will send to the driver now we have the metadata we have the compiled uh, compilation done what is the step after compilation obviously it is execution you'll be executing so that you'll send to the execution engine and once you execute it will be a very large data you have to reduce it to a small data so you'll use the map reduce process here all the things which i mentioned here those things happen okay these things happen in the map reduce process after this is done you'll be having a sweet small and smart data very small answer you will be having that will send to the execution engine that will forward to the driver that will forward to the user client if you are more interested to know about this you can go through the steps i have mentioned below okay these are the each step what's happening fetching the results sending result and executing and compiling and all okay so that was about the uh, hive let's move on to the last question of the module 4 which is pick uh, workflow pick workflow is also very simple and very similar to the hive workflow in pick workflow you will be using the query analysis and the data flow integration here what you will be having is you will be using a pig latin script okay that's the first point pig latin script will be uh, the language which we will be using and that will be sending a query or the um, question that is to be fetched or the data to be fetched or the data to be transformed or whatever it is to be done that will be sent to the grunt shell and that will be sent to the pick server as well from both of these we will be having the parallel processing those uh, will uh, fetch and uh, relevant information of what is required to do this and it will be sent to the parser so that parser will do the parsing purpose and send to the compiler it will do the compilation purpose in between that we will have the optimizer to keep the relevant data and irrelevant data uh, separate just write this uh, architecture in your own uh, for uh, one or two times then you will get to know an idea okay you need not make it exactly like this just make it uh, but it should be um, still relevant okay whatever you make it should be relevant and matching all the key points what is present here that's only i'm telling the key points are important the key points are this one it uses uh, pick latin script it passes the query to two things grunt shell and pick server this will parallel process it and send to the parser parser will parse the data in the query it will send to the optimizer and then it will optimize remove the irrelevant data and keep the relevant data and send to the compiler compiler will do the compilation thing and it will send to the execution engine so it gets executed once it's executed it will be a very big data that should have been reduced so it will be sent to the map reduce process it will reduce it again it will come back like this and from the compiler it will again uh, go back to the pig latin script that will give you the final output okay in this way you have to explain all the steps in detail whatever is happening like the first step second step third step in the form of bullet points okay first make this diagram explain in bullet points underline the keywords that should be more than sufficient for you to um, get full marks lastly you can uh, include three points which is three ways to execute the uh, scripts grunt shell script file embedded script these three ways are used to execute the scripts okay after that you need, if you need more information about what parser does optimizer and uh, compiler and execution engine it's given you can go through it okay so if you found this video helpful make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel your support is uh, very important for me i'll make up more videos uh, like this for you and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one